Yo, 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 what's happening my people? It's your boy Dean and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Stream number three on day four. Let's get it. All right, cool. What's happening my people? What you been up to? What you saying? Hope you guys are well. It's been a little while. I've got only a handful of views, but we will consistently persist until the end of time. Guys, with anything, it's all about consistency. Anyway, nice to be here. Super pumped to have the lights on, camera and the action. So let's bring it. Let's see what we got in store for today, guys. Cool. So I've just sat down. I just made a nice little tortilla wrap. Something that I was inspired by from a video on Instagram. Guys, do you ever get inspired by something you find on Instagram and you just want to cook it up or do it or whatever it may be? I love my food. Sorry to those who don't. And uh, yeah, I just I was hungry and I was like, you know what? I was inspired by it. a little tortilla, cooked it on the pan. So it's got a nice bit of a browning crisp on, on the edge a little bit, keep it, while still keeping it a little bit soft. And you need to have a little base. In the video, I had guacamole. I use sour cream because man ain't got the avocado or the guac. You get me? Not yet. Feel me? Um, and then, yeah, just fried a little egg. In the video, they cooked an egg like in loads of oil. So it went nice and crispy and golden. But I didn't use loads of oil. Man, I want to save that dough. I want to save that extra virgin olive oil. You get me? Um, yeah, man. Egg. Some potato casserole from yesterday. Mwah. Whacked it all in there, salt, pepper, chilli, happy days, I'm a good man, humble, get me, man's filled up, tortilla, potato casserole, sour cream, man kushti, azimi. Anyways, what's happening guys? Literally just sat down, today's been a pretty intense day, obviously you've seen the name of the channel, Dean Streams, I'm not trying to overly plan these, obviously I want to bring value to the table. Uh, whether it's tweets on Instagram, on, on Twitter, or whether it's a YouTube video I've recently watched, or whether it's a podcast I've recently listened to. But hey, what are we going to do today? That is the question. Um, I've got my laptop in front of me. I normally use the iPad Pro, but I'm trying to use the iPad Pro for work. But um, let's look at a bit of Twitter. But before that, let me have a chat with you guys. God, I need to get comfortable. I need to get comfortable. Big up Gideon, right? You guys that know about Gideon, I'm going down this gospel route. Big up. Deleted his whole channel. This is if you guys don't know about this guy called Gideon, which I think he's now changed or started a new channel called Gideon, which looks a little bit like God or whatever. Um, he is a very famous YouTuber who had millions of views essentially doing pranks um and yeah he's just decided to delete his whole channel every single video um and, and just do a new channel uh preaching um values the bible um the word of god shall we say i gotta give the man respect it's an extremist uh perspective um action but you know certain things have got to be done um and if that's what he feels, if that's what is channeling through him and, and God is asking him to do, then big up. There, there definitely needs to be the word of God, as he puts it, uh, in front of the people more so than anything. We are in some, uh, we're in a beautiful time where we're exposed to so much information, but I think a lot of people are confused. Um, but we are also leading into what I would say the consciousness age, where it's gone from the information age where we all kind of got released to technology. It's taken 10, 20 years for us to get used to it. And now we're starting to really like collect the overarching data and, and question the bigger questions in life and understand our emotions, understand things um, <clears throat> more so than we ever did. Um, and we can literally research anything we want at any time. Um, anyway, so Gideon. Uh, big up, if you don't know about him, check him out, read, read up on his story. Big up to Gideon, a uh, new channel, Gideon or something. Um, I find things like that very inspiring. Um, I was thinking, this guy has deleted every single video he's ever made, meaning man has literally just... Imagine he's got like a 100 rental properties, aka videos, and they're all producing an income, right? And they're all paid off cash, right? He's literally just said, you know what, a man's going to get a bulldozer and I'm going to bulldoze every single one of my houses down so I've got no income and I lose all the capital value. Boom. In fact, 
that's even better than what he's done because you still have the value of the land, the plot. My man has made all these videos and just deleted. But look, it's not about that. It's about karma. It's about paying the karma bank. And I think that's what Gideon's doing there. Um, he's leading a life of purpose and not prioritizing money and artificial gain. So a lot of respect for him. Um, yeah, what else can I share with you guys that I've listened to recently? Uh, I was listening to the podcast with, uh, I think it's Walter Isaacson. I may have got that wrong. With uh, Stephen Barlett, Diary of a CEO. Uh, just talking about kind of um, his thoughts, his perspective. Because this guy, I don't know if you guys know, but he basically writes uh, autobiographies. Uh, he wrote an autobiography about Elon Musk, which recently came out, one about Steve Jobs. And uh, yeah, he just essentially lived with Elon Musk for like two months straight, like maybe a little week break here and there, but two months straight, Elon Musk's proper call cool about it. And yeah, he got some unique perspective, guys. But one of the main messages that came out of it, and he also lived with Steve Jobs, but it was more like one week a month, um, is adversity, guys. Adversity tends to be the, <clears throat> the backbone, the foundations to this absurd greatness, to this absurd innovation. As Tony Robbins says, there is uh, pain pushes you into action. And as we have all heard, um, you know, diamonds are formed under pressure. So if you're going through anything at the moment, if you are telling yourself a victim mind, if you're putting yourself in a victim mindset about some traumas you've gone through, your childhood, guys, you've got two choices in life. And I was speaking about this yesterday with my partner. You can either have a growth mindset or not. That's it. Everything comes down to that. Growth mindset or not. Is there such thing as positive and negative? I don't believe so, I'll be honest with you. Because what can seem positive on the surface can actually be a negative down the line. And what can appear negative on the surface can appear to be a positive down the line. So guys, I'm not going to say there's positives or negatives. It's just growth mindset or not growth mindset. You accept it as your journey and you grow from it or you don't. That's it. Boom. I could just end the video right here because that's enough juice and wisdom for you people out there. You get me? But look, I'm going to roll through in, uh, Twitter, uh, Twitter, see what comes up. I'm going to do a couple tweets. Then I'll quickly see if Top G sent me an email and then we'll wrap up the video. But from the next video, guys, I'm hoping to have like a little screen on the side or something like that showing an email, showing a podcast clip. So you've got a little bit more to work with visually um, than just myself talking and vibing with you beautiful people. You get me? Dean Streams. Let me know if you like the name. I don't even know if I like the name. I'm not even sure. High Vibing, Dean Streams, Dean's Life, Dean's Poddy Clips. I don't even know. Dean's Perspective. Like, I'm out here trying to be me, trying to stream, trying to share relevant information of people I'm inspired by or look up to or find interesting. And whether it's through podcasts, through tweets, I don't know. But let me know. Dean Streams, do we like it? Do we not? I don't know. I don't know. Can you imagine, like, I have 10 subscribers by the end of the week? Wow. So, right. Um, okay, so we're on Twitter now. And guys, I don't know about you lot, but I keep seeing Elon Musk tweet constantly. Like, it's a bit of a monopoly, I'm not going to lie. I really like Elon Musk, but my man's got the monopoly of, like, getting into people's heads and, like, he's got, like, main stage in the town square, digital town square. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know. What do you lot think about that? Mm, a bit sus, like... Even Walter Isaacson was saying, you know, man thrives under pain and pressure. But how much is that pain and pressure? Do you get me? Like, is there a limit to that? Like, where does that creep into? Like, are those robots going to turn on us? Like, I don't know. Like, what's going to happen? Like, it's crazy. So let's see what we've got. We're going to do two tweets. Bit of profanity. Like it. We'll skip past that. Um... Come on, give me two interesting points. Two interesting points. I could have done my research, but I'm streaming, man. I'm streaming. I don't need to do research. I need to be myself. You get me? Um, we'll just take this random tweet here. Learn from the right people to shorten the time it takes to be successful. Yes, having mentors, amazing. I agree. It can be extremely painful without mentors. By the end of the day, your journey is going to be your journey. 
again, how we leverage our time and how we leverage our resources, you know, that is ultimately who, you know, the that ultimately dictates the trajectory of our life, um, our environment. So yeah, if you can put yourself in the right environment, around the right people and align with your goals, then I'm sure your life is going to be a lot easier um, and so on and so forth. And, you know, the sooner you can get X, Y, and Z, the sooner you make space for A, B, C. So the less time it takes you to do X, the sooner you allow in more of what's for you in your life. Environment, environmental, get me? Okay, so that's one. And we're going to do one more tweet. Let's find an interesting one. Come on, Lex Freeman, what are you saying? Oh, boring, you're always talking about the same thing. I do love you, but the same stuff about robots. and so I just go away. Mm. <sighs> Guys, Twitter's got a lot of videos now, I'm not going to lie. Tell me if you lot are experiencing like, loads of videos because it's kind of giving me a headache. I don't really use Twitter as much at the moment. They got a picture of the guy from the 40 year old virgin. One side is using my phone because I can't sleep and he's shaking hands with the other side, which is also himself, mirrored. Can't sleep because I'm using my phone. Yeah, phones. Phones, phones, phones. Endless dopamine, endless apps to be mindlessly going through. Um, you really got to kind of be able to have the awareness and, and take a step back to identify what is productive and what is just you escaping yourself and wasting your time and energy. Self-awareness is king, guys. And not to mention with these billion dollar social media apps where they're essentially fine for your attention. You know what I'm saying? It's an algorithm trying to <laughs> suck you in. So you've got to be strong. You know? You've got to be aware of yourself. You've got to have the mindset. You've got to have them good habits. Like, <laughs> like you got to have good habits like keeping a video to 10 minutes and not going into 12, then 13, then 14. Do you understand? Pick up that guy that knew that is a, is a new guy as well, not as new as me. He's got a couple thousand subscribers, which seems a hell of a lot at this current moment in time. But it's not. You got to think big. Man's looking for a hundred thousand in the next few months. Man's looking for a million in the next two months. Man's looking for twenty million in the next three months. Man's looking to overtake Mr. Beast in six months. You get me? Think big, but don't be delusional. Okay, fine. Uh, how to reprogram your conscious mind? Okay, come on, guys, just give me something. Give me something, come on. Doesn't normally take more, more sexuality. Okay, come on, come on. What's it? Oh, shit, a drive-by shooting. No way. Man's got shot up. Anyway, oh, what happened there? And then it, the car, what? We need one thing. It's all videos now, guys. I want to take like a nice body of text and share it with you, but. Pain evolves men. Okay, we're going to leave it at that. Pain evolves men. Yes, it does. It does evolve men if you're a man, if you have a growth mindset. Um, I've gone through many a thing which are painful and I will continue to. I will put myself in painful situations. I will be presented with painful uh, times that are beyond my control as well. And it's just part of life. Admittedly, I want to put myself through more painful uh, situations in a constructive, productive manner, whether it's like running a marathon or whether it's building a company. But, you know, the, the unfortunate pains in life are the ones that you don't quite expect and you don't, you know, necessarily want. But hey, you know, God's plan your journey, your journey, kind of just got to just roll with the punches and be strong and, you know, kind of these are the waves, right? And you're just here in the middle, just like calm. You're feeling the waves, the highs, the lows, but you're still calm. Like you just, you know, you're observing, you're living your life. You're not going to get too caught up here. You're not going to get too caught up here. You're always going to maintain a level of medium whilst feeling and experiencing those emotions. You get me? This has become like a philosophical thing. Like, I don't even know what this YouTube channel is going to become. Like, man's going to become a new Tony Robbins. Man's going to be become, set up a new podcast, like Impulsive. Like, I don't understand it. I might set up a Mark Queen's food, YouTube, uh, food eating YouTube channel. 
I don't even know at this stage, guys. Man's just streaming and streaming, and we're going to see Wagwanin. You get me? Should I get on Twitch? I don't know. Should I get on Kick? I don't know. Steve will do it, man. His views are... It's quite sad, I'm not going to lie. His views are letting me down. This guy gets banned off YouTube. For you, for you guys that don't know, Steve will do it. Some guy from America. He's giving loads of people money and doing great things. Blah, blah, blah. Even though, I hate to say it, he's like promoting a gambling company, which is kind of contradictory. But then he uses that money from the gambling degenerates to then help other people. Is that a good thing? I don't know. I don't really know. I don't get it. I'm not sure. But anyways, man gets blocked off YouTube. And then he's on Rumble. Then he's on kick. Like, what is kick? No one even knows about kick. And his views are just low. And it hurts me. And he lost some motivation recently. And yeah, it seems like he's struggling in the video arena. But obviously, man's not struggling financially because this guy's got penthouses. This guy's got his whips. This guy's got his money coming in from Happy Dad. Man's doing all right, but I think he's missing his purpose of the videos and I don't think he's getting a lot of traction, but hopefully that changes. And, uh, and the only way I can see that changing is if um, the platforms he uses take off because he's not allowed on YouTube, guys, and that's pretty limiting, but I'm sure he'll pivot into other directions. And, you know, t is it Tanachi? I don't even know what his name is. His friend 6 9 I mean, guys. Yeah. Two million left him liable for a contract of 2 million because man can, you know, uh, keep his end of the bargain with a stream uh, once a week for a gaming company or something. I mean, guys, seriously, Steve will do it big up, man. You're a G. You always like, you always got the money, always pulling out of somewhere. I don't even know where it's coming from. Probably where the gamblers, but still. Big up. Um, okay, that's done with, we're done with Twitter. Boring. What we're we saying here on the emails? We got a, we got an email from Andrew Tate. Yes. Okay. We're gonna finish up on an email from Mr. Andrew Tate. Seventeen minutes. Let's go. Bang, 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 bang. Is this gonna like ruin? Is, am I gonna be in breach of company guidelines? I don't know. Like, okay. Andrew Tate. Lone wolves eat scraps. Okay. I can be a little bit guilty. This guy is lone wolf. I don't know, man. But hopefully, I bring the collaboration as man navigates through this YouTube arena. Feel me. Okay, so lone wolves eat scraps. I'm just going to read the whole email and then we'll talk. Okay, it's not a Wu Dun email. You guys know about Andrew Tate, about his Wu Dun emails. They're long. Like, man needs to get, like, a drink out of the fridge, a popcorn, let all my friends and family know that I'm going to be off the scene for a little while, and then I can read it. It takes time. But luckily, it's not a Wu Dun email. You get me? Okay, so he sent this 20 hours ago, okay? As you're reading this, right now as we speak, Members of the war room are together in London. Oi, big up London. Where's the muscles at, man? Where are the muscles? I can't even see them through here. They look flat. Anyways, members of the war room are together in London. London, big up. I was meant to be there the other day, but man can be asked to go. Change your plans. With global reach, over 40 cities and 27 countries have held a meeting so far this year. Jesus. That's pretty dope. I didn't know this war room had the meetups. That's pretty sick. But this meeting is special. Do you know why? Because the purge is complete. Who they killing, bruv? Maybe they're killing the bad versions of themselves. The ones that let them down. The one, the, the versions of them that are not stoic and strong. You feel me? The essential decimation of the average. To leave growth for unparalleled exceptionalism. These men survived. They are a net benefit to their brothers and the organisation as a whole. And are tremendously rewarded. He's going on like every single member of this war room is a top G. Like, there's a couple people in there like, yeah, yeah, I got five grand. I'm going to get five grand. Yeah, man's going to join. I'm going to join. Yeah, yeah, But the truth is, that little motherfucker that's like got five Gs and, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's like a little like, he'll change. He'll change. You know why? Because he's changing his environment. And he's the man's going to level up. Chest is going to come out. The, the pockets are going to get fat. So fat, his pants are going to drop. Man's going to have to wear like an extra tight belt to keep him up. Do you understand? But, yeah, environment, power of environment. Uh, imagine the conversations you'd have if you're in the room. The laptop died. And on that note, I'm going to end the video. I like that. Things didn't go to plan. And I'm not going to put it on charge.
Guys, I just want to hear what you have to say. I need some traction. I need some reaction. Maybe we'll come back to the video in the next video. Stay tuned. And uh, yeah, in five, four, three, two, one, we're done for today. I hope you enjoyed today's Dean stream. And I want to have a cup of tea now. And whew, and uh, maybe, maybe we'll bring a little bit more structure to next video. And. I have like a, another screen that pops up on this video where you can share, I can share a video with you or a email. But for now, I'm gonna chill. I think I'll need to binge on some YouTube and uh, bring some additional content to the table. That sparks my joy. Guys, what do you watch on YouTube? What podcast do you listen to? Let me know. But um, yeah, some random information within all of this, but I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for vibing with me. Thanks for just being with me. Thanks for just rolling with my stream and seeing where the flow takes us. You get me?